Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radacad. In this video, which is the third video of the Power BI Data Mart, I'm going to take you inside the Data Mart, what happens inside the Data Mart, what is under the hood, how you can access the SQL database, how you can build reports from it, how would you see the lineage, all those kind of things from it. Let's see how it works. So as I explained in one of the previous videos, um, the data mart, a Power BI data mart includes these three main components in it, a data flow, a data warehouse, and a data set. Some of these components are exposed when you create a data mart, some of them are not. In the previous video, I showed you how to create a data mart. Now the created data mart or comes with an associated data set with it just because that data set is exposed. It doesn't mean that data flow is not part of it. It is also there, but it's not just exposed. In the future versions of data mart, we might get that also separately as well. And the SQL database, the Azure SQL database behind the scene of that, how we can actually access all of those. So we'll go back to the data mart that we have created. So here I have my data mart. First thing that you can easily access is the data set. Beside the data mart with the same name, you'll see a data set. So for each data mart that I've created, you see there's a data set right beside it as well. This is a data set associated with that data mart. This is a data set that is part of that data mart. Um, so you can easily click on that data set. That gets you to the data set hub for that data set. So one way is coming directly by clicking on that. The other way is to go to the data hub and then clicking on that data set directly. Any of these methods would get you to the data set. Now, um, when you are in the data set, you'll see the refreshed date and time of that. Uh, you can also add some descriptions, things around it. You, all, you have all the functionalities that a normal data set has, such as analyzing Excel, creating a report from that data set. But another thing is that if I go to the setting of that data set, um, 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 in that setting of a data set, which I'll show you in another way, you'll see the XMLA endpoint as well. Now I'll show you the setting of this data mart first and then should, uh, the setting of a data set. Now uh, the data mart itself, you can go to the setting of that using this option, or you can go to the data hub and then from there. I'll show you from here. So from for data mart, I'll go to the setting so the setting of data mart has all the configurations of the data mart. One of them is server settings. This is a place that you have the connection string to connect to the Azure SQL database. This is the Azure SQL database connection string. You can copy it. Then you can open a SQL Server Management Studio. What I have already open is that when you open it, you'll just need to paste that. You'll need your username, which is your Power BI account. Use this option as your Active Directory Universal with MFA. When you choose that, when you connect, it asks for your password after logging in, then you actually connect to Azure SQL Database. This is for those developers who want to use SQL Server Management Studio or any other query editing tool um, to connect to the database. Now I have connected to the database. Um, I have been connected to the database here. Now this is another database, but very similar to the one that we have created. Uh, it does not show you the tables. Tables are hidden for safety purposes to make sure that you don't go and change something here that is not supported in the data mart and it breaks the connection between those. But you can see the views. As you can see here, I have the views. So these are views of those five tables. There are also metadata tables such as relationships and, and things around it. And you can easily write a query in here. You can easily write the select star from model.customers, for example. This is, this is SQL code. You just write it and it works. I think I need to refresh this so that it works with the connection. I'll just refresh it once so that I can get it connected. As you see, it was disconnected from here. So um, you can write the SQL command, SQL queries and get the result. One thing though, is that you don't have full access to this database exactly because of that safety measures, uh, precautions that is taken so that it does not break the connection between those two. So I'll create a new query this time. 
so you won't be sysadmin of this database for those of you who are the database, uh, have a database background, but you would be able to write queries. You would be able to access these views and run your queries from these views. So as you can see, I run this code and I get the result. And I and you can run some of the store procedures and things like that that you have in uh, Azure SQL database. And because it is Azure SQL database, you can do pretty much anything with that. If your data size is bigger, you can scale it up. If you want to do some have some performance monitors and see how this is going, what the what is the size of tables and things like that, you can do pretty much all of that. In addition to this, to connect to the SQL Server database, the data set itself, you have the server setting under the data set itself, which give you the connection to the analysis services, which you can, again, use Management Studio to connect to that. You can use Tabular Editor. You can use Power BI Helper. You can use DAX Studio. You can use any of these tools in order to enhance your Power BI data model, whatever you want to build. So that is the way that you connect to the uh, Azure SQL database to the data set. There is no way to, at the moment, there is no way to get the data flow of this uh, data mart separately. The only way to do that is to go to the data mart and then do the transform. So it's already part of it, but in the future, this might be separated. The last thing I want to show you is that how can I build report from this data mart? Well, of course, you can build it from Power BI Desktop or you can build it from the service. In the service, if you go to any of these, to the data set or to the data mart, doesn't matter which one you go to. And whenever you go to any of these, you can just create a report. When you create a report, it already connect. It is already connected to that data mart we have created, and that measure those measures that we have created. I think I created that freight uh, year to date measure somewhere. Yep, here it is. I created in the customer table, which is fine. I'll just drag and drop it here. Then I would also add something else here as well. Let's say I want the country of customer, and I want to show this in a map. So I can build my report really easily just like that. Once I built my report, now it is just one visual I created, then I can save it, sample report, and today, uh, whatever today is, I would just call it number five because I have a, a number of report. I just don't want to combine them all together. So now I save it here. Now this report, like any other report, can be actually downloaded. If I want to download this file, I can download it and it would be the PBIX file that I can work with it. So it's not that you cannot do anything in Power BI Desktop. You can do uh, continue development on this on Power BI Desktop. You can build multiple reports on this. Once you build these reports or multiple reports or anything like that, you can see the lineage of that. Like for example, if I go to this data mart and if I click on lineage, I would see the lineage view of this that I created, which is here. The data comes from all data into Data Mart. Behind the scene of this is a data flow and an Azure SQL database, then from there into this data set, and then from that we have a report. I have another Data Mart, for example, here I created as an example, and that Data Mart is actually uh, the data of that used in three reports, as you can see. And here I have three reports generated from that data model. So remember that multi-layered structure of a Power BI report? This is talking about that. You'll have the lineage, you'll have different layers, you can have different people building different parts of it, the visualization by someone, the data mart by someone else. That is the beauty of uh, having this um, data mart in addition to all other uh, components in Power BI. And also in this video, you will learn that how uh, you can access to the Azure SQL database, how you can access to the data set, which you could have done before even uh, with XMLA endpoint because you have the premium capacity. Um, so that's it. This is a video explaining about all of these features. The next video, I'm going to show you how Power BI works with other components of Power BI ecosystem, such as deployment pipeline, such as uh, governance, such as workspaces, everything around it. Uh, until that video, enjoy.